Hey everyone, it's Ophi again, and I am back with another of our Astrology of Success uh, podcast. This one also has a video going along with it, and I'm here today um, with Elle of Essence Love. Elle is an amazing, let's just call you a business alchemist, because you mm-hmm. have been very successful in the corporate world, as well as becoming an advanced Tantra educator and an energy healer, and you, you really bring those two things together. So Elle is a Virgo, a longtime friend of mine, and just an amazing person. So hi, Elle. Welcome. Hi, Ophi. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I am too. In our office here in New York City. And... Um, Today, we are going to talk about unblocking the heart chakra uh, and what that does for you in business and pursuing your dreams. Because as you said, Elle, being an entrepreneur is about following your heart. But if your heart is full of fear or has blocks in it, then it's a little hard to do. Mm -hmm. Um, So uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. And Elle is going to teach some rituals and help with unblocking and that kind of thing. And, and we chose to do the heart chakra because uh, this at, at our recording time, there's a solar eclipse happening in a couple days in Cancer, which is a sign that is associated with the heart. Um, so it just seemed appropriate to start that way. So, so Elle, I don't know if I did the best job introducing you. So let's hear in your own words, like tell, tell our astro peeps what you do. Well, but first I want to honor them. Right. I, they're entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. I was one for 20 years. I think I, I still am an entrepreneur. Yes, you are. I started a business and uh, it had zero revenue and I grew it to a t- $2 million business and I ran it for 20 years. And I, I know what it takes to get up every day and create from nothing, take care of clients, work in an environment where the the world is forever changing and have perseverance and creativity and stamina and grit and do that every day. So I honor entrepreneurs. And so so I did that for 20 years and and, um, for that I was a corporate executive and a professor also. And um, everything worked in my life. It was charmed. Mm -hmm. Uh, Got the apartment, married the guy, it all was good. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that um, something was missing. And I didn't know what it was. And, and you helped. You, you <laughs> well, were, we've known each other a long time. We've, we've done known each other. Transformational yeah. work. She's been one of my business mentors, just to give you some context. Yeah. We just have great friends, so we don't have to go out looking for people to interview. They're right around us. Yeah. We're very lucky. Um, yes, I, I was part of the story, I'm sure, but you were part of mine. But So what was missing? What was um, missing? Is this, so life looked like buy more stuff, get more stuff, (laughs) have more. And after a while, I realized it's just more. And it was the same. So I stopped and I started to a spiritual journey. I I think I'd always been spiritual, but making money was always my measure. Or, Or who was my client? Or what was the deal? Or who was my boyfriend? Or what was I buying? And I stopped the outer journey and I said, where do I need to go to find the thing that's missing, which is joy, happiness, Mm -hmm. peace, love, compassion, um, so that life has meaning. Now, I want to say, I still like nice things. I still like... (laughs) We all do. I I I want you to know, I'm not anti-successful. I absolutely not. You wouldn't be here if you were. You wouldn't be my friend if you were, because I like pretty things too. I like yeah. pretty things <laughs> too, and I like people to be successful in the world, and and follow their heart's desire, whatever it is. Yeah. But I think my 
message is that you can't that that the inner joy matters too and even more importantly is when you merge the two mm -hmm. the spirit and matter they're not separate i thought a spiritual life was separate from business plans, go-to-market plans, pipelines, but they're not. What they are is when you're aligned with spirit and in the physical world, mm -hmm. you can manifest with ease. So it. it took, it was hard work for me when I was an entrepreneur. Now when I want to manifest, I can almost think it. Wow. And it shows up. And that's what I want to give everyone. Yeah. Is that you can do this with more ease, more joy, and live, um, manifest externally and internally have a, a rich, happy life. So that yeah. And we're not together. talking like the secret, just ask, believe, receive. We're talking about the chakra system, which you work with. We're talking about how uh, there's... It's not just change your thought immediately manifest, right? It's all, it's uh, identifying really from what I understand from our conversations. And I am going to be having a heart chakra session with Elle that I'll report back on to you guys, but um, I can't wait. It does. Yeah. yeah. But from what you've explained to me, it's really about um, really getting into that. What's there, what's already in the space, right? And then unblocking and clearing that away. So, um, Let's talk about the chakra system and, and, and okay. what it is and, you know, okay. tell them why we started with okay. the heart. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the system because as you say, I'm a Virgo. So I have yes, to. Yes. She needs a system. I need a system. Yeah, totally. And then, and then we'll, we'll uh, zoom in on the heart, which is where we're going to spend our time. So I, I don't know if I should show this. I brought my little metal. Yeah, and if you're chakra. listening, she has a kind of a, mo a wall oh. hanging of the chakra system. So, um, yeah, let's do it. So, this is the system. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> On the bottom, we have the base chakra. And you want to say what it like represents in sure. work and business, maybe, or like um, what part of your... This is about being grounded and, and having mm -hmm. a business that's sustainable. Okay. At, it's an important chakra. It's the base. It's the beginning of everything. So we want to build a business that's um, grounded, sustainable, yeah. right? That has traction. Mm -hmm. And that would be the first chakra. Sec it. Second chakra is uh, about sexuality and creativity. We certainly need creativity in, in our businesses yeah. and the ability to adapt quickly to a changing environment. Life force too, right? I mean, totally. Reproduction. Right, mm -hmm. and produce have some business babies, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, business babies. Uh -huh. um, this is the power center. It's um, right around the, the belly button, mm -hmm. and this is our power center. So if we're blocked in our power center, we we have trouble getting out there powerfully. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that another time. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth chakra, the heart chakra one we're going to talk about and notice it has uh, two triangles that are intersecting mm -hmm. right creating a harmonious design and that's because um, and we'll talk about this more it's the integration of the heart the, the chakra system so it's really the middle of the chakra it's the you said it was like the bridge between the material the spiritual right. realms so, so yeah one, two, three, and four are our human concerns. Okay. Four, five, this is the fifth, and which is the throat. throat. Okay. And that's your Six, voice and speaking up, right? And truth. And truth, okay. This is our wisdom, third eye, third eye six chakra. And this is our uh, crown chakra which is actually not in the body. So it's not six, seven chakras, it's six in the body and one above. So these are our spiritual concerns and they too mix in the heart. Okay. So what, 
beautiful way so to start. So the heart's like a mixing bowl of all of these things. It's the yeah. place where non-duality exists. It's Ooh. the place where, uh, how do I want to say this? Alchemy, right? Integration. It is about transformation, alchemy, and it's where we can integrate our earthly concerns with our spiritual concerns and put out our desires and get them back to us the way we want. Ooh, so that's it. the beautiful, beautiful aspect of the heart chakra. So yeah, I love it. So let's, so, you know, a lot of us are out here. We're, we're in, you know, you guys are following along with our astrology of success, uh, courses and everything because you want to have a career that is that integration you want to want to have the freedom the self-sufficiency the ability to sustain yourself and your loved ones or keep a roof over your head but you don't want to betray yourself to do that you don't want to you know be untrue so today's work is going to be about noticing when your heart chakra might be blocked. What are the signs? And then ha the, a very practical how to heal that. But let's start with, yeah, what, what are some of the signs that someone may be blocked in this really important zone, you know, where all this magic happens, Linda? So what are some of those signs? Okay. So the heart chakra is about transformation. So when you... No, when you see your life happening effortlessly and with ease, you know your heart chakra is opening. Mm -hmm. But it's when your um, and it's when your um, when your heart is open and your heart is the center, compassion, love. Then you seeing a harmony. You'll see that love come back, and that love may come back in the form of clients who love you and give you order, give you business. But when your heart is closed, you'll, what will happen is you're not open to receiving the oh, love. Wow. So will it be like, you go make this amazing pitch and then they're like, mm, I think we're going to go in another direction. It could be. Yeah. Or you're looking at a business partner and the business partner offers you an opportunity and you say, yeah, no, they'll probably cheat me in the end. So I'll oh. pass on that. So you, so you get protected. You, you won't know. receive. And the universe may be coming to you and saying, here, here, here's, mm -hmm. here's things for you. And you say, no, yeah. I don't want it. You find the fatal no, flaw. No, it's not for me. Okay. Okay. Right. Which is interesting because like, it's really good because some things will come to you that aren't for you, but you want to know when is it because you're protecting your heart or blocking that? And when is it because it really isn't and you're following your heart? We know, but we what you're talking about is, yeah, the like, oh, I'm too scared to let that in and receive. So right? the heart so. has a huge, you know, the expression, I learned that by heart. Yeah. That speaks to the intelligence, the mm -hmm. cognizance that's in the heart. Mm -hmm. If we lean in to a healthy, open heart and we feel that this is not for us, we know it. Mm -hmm. And that's different from our unwillingness to receive. Mm -hmm. And they're not the same. And mm -hmm. we can tell the difference. And Absolutely. usually there are patterns associated with it. It's like, oh, I've been, why does this keep happening to me kind of thing? Like, how come they never... This? Yeah, it yeah. would be, oh, everybody's a crook. Mm -hmm. and, and I can't trust anybody in the business world. Okay. And that would be the sign of uh, an inability to receive because your heart okay. is shut down. Okay. Or, or it could be, I don't trust the universe. But mm -hmm. So we can also see this in a physical sense. The heart chakra is here, uh, right here. If you're just middle. listening, it's right, right in between your boobs if you're yeah. a lady. It's in the middle. <laughs> it's not where your physical heart is. And it goes to the back. So it's in the front and in the back. Okay. But I also want to I, I also want to say that the chakra systems actually aren't in 
the body right. for anybody who thinks that if we open ourselves up, we're going to see the chakra system. It actually isn't there. Sadly, no. It isn't there. Yeah. It's actually in the subtle body, in the energetics surrounding us. The, but the aura? It's in the aura. Okay. But, but if you've ever had a broken heart, and I think most of us have had that a couple of times, it f feels like your heart is broken. It yeah. feels very physical. Physical pain, yeah. Very physical. Mm -hmm. But if we go and we get an fMRI or a CAT scan, our hearts are really fine. Right. <laughs> they're, right. They're not broken. They just feel like they're broken. And conversely, if we fall in love and we're blissfully happy, our heart feels radiant and alive. Mm -hmm. And that also is not really in the physical realm. Okay, so I just wanted to say that. Virgo technicality. I wanted you to know <laughs> that I don't think it lives inside of us. But the heart chakra rules the, the uh, pulmonary system and the heart system. Mm -hmm. So you said, what are the, what's the signs yeah, of, signs of a blocked having heart. a blocked yeah. heart? And you could find it inside... Um, the respiratory system, you could have bronchitis. Or right, because the lungs are included, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. So, and, and um, it's a, one of the signs is uh, that you're grieving, and it's also part of the pulmonary system, mm -hmm. is looking at grief. Okay. So it, that's a sign that your heart's not open, is if you're grieving. Mm -hmm. And it could be grieving for a person. It could be grieving for a business that no longer satisfies you. It could be grieving for anything, including something that you, you um, had lost, a person, a business. It doesn't matter you what with we're a grieving friend, with. Like a lot of us have as entrepreneurs, we tend to hire our are people we know first and then maybe that doesn't work out when you mix the business and friendship I've, I've heard stories like that or and then you, know, you could be grieving for the friendship and grieving for the, the business hopes, partnership things that, that never, didn't work out yeah out. yeah so okay. grief is a part of it holding grudges is a mm. sign mm -hmm. that your um that um, your heart might not be open. So if you're if you're like ranting and bitching about uh, someone who did you wrong, or why did they have that? Is that you oh know, jealousy, competitiveness, jealousy, jealousy. Okay. absolutely, okay. jealousy, very much so. Okay, um, feeling defensive. Mm -hmm. Someone asks you a question and you hear yourself being defensive, or someone mm. says, "Why are you defensive?" That's, that would be an aha moment to go, mm, maybe I should do some heart healing. Yeah. Okay. So those are some of the isolating yourself, keeping yourself mm -hmm. away from others, closing down. Science. I, I want to even like, I want to jump in and say, because we speak to entrepreneurs who are very heart centered and at least the themes of what their businesses are. They want to make a difference and they want to contribute. They're not just like in it for the money. We're in it for both. So, you know, I think that's all the more reason to be very aware of your heart chakra because you are leading with your heart ostensibly, mm -hmm. but you're also you know, have more chances of getting your heart broken and then going into this blocked or protective mode, I would think, right? I would think so. And I would yeah. also, I think the definition of shaman is wounded healer. So oh, okay. I think we're all healers. Yeah. And we all have to do our own work. Yeah. So let's talk about that work. Let's talk about how. So, you know, Assuming most of us have probably at least a little bit of blockage in the heart chakra because we've all been disappointed and we we take those as things to learn, but we're probably still dragging some residues. So, you know, how does one heal the heart? You know, not just getting over it, but how do you genuinely heal the heart chakra, Linda? Okay, so um, I, I will um, answer that in a second, but I, I want to... There's, I want to say something about the intelligence in the heart first. Mm -hmm. So the heart, so this might be useful. Sometimes it's not a wounding mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. But it's, it's a different kind of an inquiry. 
And it could be, am I following my heart? Mm -hmm. Like, is the yeah. work I'm doing really my heart's work? I mean, and it, or like, is the way I'm going, I mean, I question that all, I, I know that astrology is my heart's work, but some of the projects I do or the directions I take are in. So is that also? That could yeah. be it, okay. sure. Okay. So, so the, and what's the heart of the matter? Like, what is mm. the heart of the matter? So, so just listening, are we following our true heart? Yeah, okay. And so good question it could to be start with. A, a very much a good question okay. for all of us. And even if we started businesses a long time ago and they were what our heart wanted to do, maybe we've grown. Maybe that's a hard um, one. Yeah, I've been through that. It's like I really care about, you know, I had a body image uh, uh, platform yes. for women. I still care about that issue deeply, but I don't want it to be the bulk of my work. It's I know, not the yeah, heart of the matter. It's not, for it's not you. the heart of the matter. Yeah. So some of you guys listening may have something like that too. And you feel obligated to keep going with it because you put so much into it. It's like a child. So what Linda's saying may resonate with you. Yes. Yeah. Right. So listen to the wisdom. Am I following my heart, is this the real work I should be doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and okay. listen to the wisdom of our, our hearts, have just a huge amounts of wisdom. So it's not just wounding, it's are we following the wisdom of this chakra center? Okay. 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 So, and so. So how does one, if they've, once you've recognized, okay, I have this block, now what do I do about it? Like, you know, what are some of the things someone can do? I know you mentioned rituals. Well, right. Well, we want to build heart capacity mm -hmm. so that the so that not only do we clean out whatever residue is in that. So <coughs> remember, each chakra has its own energy and its own frequency. Mm -hmm. And when the energy is flowing through all of the chakras, our life manifests with ease. Mm -hmm. So we want our chakras to be um, energetically cleaned out and balanced. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about the heart chakra, we want to build heart capacity. Okay. Right. And we can do that in a myriad of ways. There is no one right way. You can pick and choose what you want and then keep looking and seeing whether the world is manifesting in mm. a, as a mirror of who you are. It's a little so, bit of an experiment. It thing. is. Okay. It, it totally Great. is. Great. Isn't everything businesses too? So I wish I could you give try. you some prescription, but I, I, I'm not going to do that. Yes. So you can do that with meditation. You can do that with visualizations. You can do that with essential oils. I can tell you what essential oils I use to, to, to awaken mm -hmm. the heart or to take care of grieving. You can use affirmations, you can journal, you can have self-love practices. Um, uh, one of my favorites is a gratitude practice. Mm. The research now is showing that uh, gratitude really changes the neural networks of our brain. Okay. So, and this heart chakra is also about beauty. Mm -hmm. So go look at something beautiful. Go exactly. out and connect to nature or beautiful things. If that's what you like to do, I like to do that. You also said uh, when I talked to you once, you mentioned like dancing or I like to do karaoke, anything that makes you more expansive and connected. Well, you're also with moving the energy. Yeah. So what we are talking about is moving energy. So if you want to do it by dancing or singing, Sure, go yeah. for it. Yeah. I wouldn't because I sing really badly, <laughs> but you can do that. <laughs> You've come to karaoke. I've dragged you to karaoke. If you're my friend, you've been dragged once to karaoke with once. me. I did it um, once. Yeah. And, you know, there's, you can, a lot of you guys already do rituals, but, you know, you can set up with the candles and, you know, doing a letter of gratitude to whatever you're letting go of or really doing some journaling and maybe some burning if that's what speaks to you. And, and you mentioned uh, rose quartz as a crystal, but also that the, the chakra color is green, right? So the heart chakra is 
green in the modern chakra system, but we also use rose quartz, which is pink. So we yeah. use the pink because that's the correlating color mm -hmm. in the aura mm -hmm. rather than green. So you might want to do some deeper work too and um, do some giving up, some ritual around mm -hmm. grieving. I, we talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Most of us don't like to grieve. Yeah. We much rather, I, I don't know about you, but I'm one of those people who likes to live in my head. Yeah, and it's when easier I, it's, it seems. And I can tell you all the reasons why what didn't work out was for the best. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh God, the rationalizing. Oh, well, it was not a good market. It was not a good time. Da, 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 right? it was, it's all, yeah. I can explain everything to you. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the bad news. That stuff lives in our bodies. Mm -hmm. So uh, the sadness of losing the business, the sadness of the person who betrayed you five years ago that you, it's inside us. And this is ongoing work, right? I mean, I know that a lot now of people, we're human. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I, I find that any time I do, you know, clear out something, then I discover another layer. Or I then get the courage to move forward and take a risk. But then I might hit another block along the way. Is that common? Because I think a lot of people are like, well, she'll just one and clean. done. Yeah, the one and done. Oh, clear me out so please. I can do this. Let me right? sign up for one and Imagine done. Imagine the no. you know, enlightenment no. by injection or whatever kind of thing. So yeah. Actually I mean, that's how we met. You you uh, and <laughs> I were true. in a leadership role and you that's something true. was happening and you said, What do you have to give up? That's right. Yeah. What do you have to give up? So giving something up. Giving, what letting that, go. Uh, what, what does that, that look like? Letting go and giving up. How do you actually do that? Because it sounds good, but I've got four planets in Scorpio and letting go is far from my specialty, but. Not mine either. Yeah. You're, you're no. Virgo. So, no. so, but I think we think that it's like something just disappears and we let go of it. Can you recontextualize that for us from your expertise? I think it looks like a lot of different things. When you and I first met, you said, what do you have to let go of? And my response was, go away and leave me alone. <laughs> and, and who are you to, to ask me that? And ultimately, in that exchange, what I had to do was stop wearing jewelry from an ex-husband. Was no longer alive. Who was no longer because alive. you had a commitment to love, so, so your ex husband's I, wedding ring wasn't really the, the way to go, yeah. It, mm -hmm. So, it could be um, going through a ceremony where you write on a piece of paper what you're letting go and you burn it, or it could be um, lighting a candle and um, a and just crying and mm -hmm. saying, I release you. I'm so sad this happened and I let you go and I, you know, just let it out of your body. Mm -hmm. I don't know in each one is different, but you'll know when you let go. You'll it's really about moving the energy, even if it's like gonna wave up again. It's like, it's, I see it like this ball of energy that just is like, huh, you know? And sometimes, it lets go in increments. Mm -hmm. So you can't get that whole hairball up at the right, same time. Right, right, <laughs> right. But it's, it's the journey of getting this out. Now, when I do a healing on you, mm -hmm. which I can't wait, I'm going to move energy from other chakras through that chakra. Our energy systems work from top down and from bottom up. And sometimes the energy wants to move from the bottom up, and sometimes it will go the other That's way. But we want to bring it in and then use um, a bija mantra, which is a seed sound, hmm. or visualize like um, hum is the seed sound okay. that would go with that. That clears it. So it's like sweeping, like dust from every corner of the room into one big pile and then dealing with it kind of. <laughs> you can also do asanas. So for example, if we're doing a uh, heart opening, you can do an asana which opens your heart cool. and just breathe into it. 
Now, remember, this chakra is about uh, air. I, oh, I didn't say oh, yeah, that. Yeah, right? air. So it's uh, in our modern system, the element is air. Mm -hmm. In the ancient tantra, uh, uh, chakra tantra system, it's wind. And this is about transformation. So the wind brings the transformation. So and, breath work And is breath is, is the okay. air. So we okay. want to breathe into these systems and okay. breathe your heart free. Okay, that's right? awesome. So, so um, and you know, we, we also talked about some practical things that you can do if you really, if you're not ready to go into ritual or even do anything, you know, you can, one of the simplest things is just to give something away. So if you're a business owner, if you're a healer, gift someone who's really like feeling even worse yeah. than you are a free session it's or a little mini about session. giving and receiving. Yeah. A big part of the heart is about giving. Yeah. Whether it's being compassionate, loving, generous, mm -hmm. and receiving, being open to the gifts yeah. that the universe will provide for you. So a way to do that, as you said, is to be small. Start. Yeah. Put that in ritually. Yeah. Do give something, something that you to can. your customers. Yeah. Give someone a hug, even just like something mm, that is like an act it. of coming out of your self-protective uh, fortress and just say, or even just ask them, how are you doing today? Or whatever. Just that little moment. So, um, so you're going to be hearing more from Elle because we just covered one chakra today and you know, we're, we're really enjoying playing with the idea of how can you use this chakra alchemy and tantra to alchemize success and and use it as a tool for your success as uh, in within and without. So, um, yeah. To contact Elle, because uh, if you want to talk about doing a session with her or follow her or learn more, she's at essence-love.com. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll share with our, uh, the people who are in our, our class now what, uh, what happens as I do the session and work with Elle myself on my heart chakra. I'm, I'm going, going bold and big at this eclipse. I'm going to let you in there. So and if they have any questions. Uh, oh yeah, questions. absolutely. So Elle is going to, if you're in our summer camp program, she'll, she'll stop by and answer any questions as you share uh, your own exploration around this, this week. So yeah. Yeah. So I, I want to share two things. One of which is my favorite Rumi poem. It was a 13th century mystic. And he mm -hmm. says, your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. Mm -hmm. So even in the 13th century, they were saying, clean out the stuff that's <laughs> in the way of love. Mm -hmm. And until the next time we meet, um, may your beautiful heart lead you to fulfill on your dreams. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Elle, for coming. And Thank you. Uh, let's hear what you got. We'd love to hear from you. Like, how can you open your heart more? How have you been blocked? And um, how might you uh, go about opening back up again so that you can follow your heart? All yes, right. Yes, and manifest. And manifest. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> see you next time. Bye bye. bye.